man is in desperate need of a kidney. His friends have made it their mission to help find him a donor. Local 22's Dana Casulo joins us live in the newsroom now with a look at how they're trying to get the word out. Dana? Mike, I spoke with Kevin Morgan and his friends today about the search for a life-changing donation. Right now, Kevin Morgan can't do what he enjoys most in life, being outdoors, gardening, and fishing. I uh, have a lot less energy. I, uh, I get tired out doing regular things. It's been this way for three years. That's because Kevin is in desperate need of a kidney. He is on dialysis and his kidney function is zero. It's hard to ask someone for a kidney mm -hmm. or expect someone to give you a kidney. Kevin's life is planned around trips to the dialysis center. He's had to give up working and is on disability. After dialysis, you just don't have the energy a lot of times mm -hmm. to do anything. So, um, and after dialysis, some nights, well, most nights I, I'm up, up every hour cramping. Kevin's friends have made it their mission to help find him a kidney. He's outgoing. He's very friendly. He's a good person. Uh, and it's been really hard watching his health deteriorate over the last few years, more so the last few years for sure. The organ donation coordinator at the University of Vermont Medical Center, Jennifer DiMaroni, wants future living donors to know you only need one kidney to live a long, healthy life. Kidneys are able to um, filter appropriately. So if we have good renal function, you know, we're younger, we're healthier, um, we only do need one of them. The program and medical director of solid organ transplantation at Dartmouth Health says there is an advantage to getting a living donor kidney transplant. The living donor kidney will last longer than a deceased donor kidney on average by at least uh, two and a half to three years on average. A match for Kevin would need to have O blood type. I'm registered with Mass General and I'm registered with the UVM transplant. Um, and they can contact the transplant centers at either of those places. If you, do, if you would like to be considered or have questions about being a kidney donor, we'll have information on our website. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dana Casulo, Local 22 News.